The next stitch is called a honeycomb stitch. You're always going to start every stitch with a knot and you're going to put it in the back of the cloth. So I'm just going to, I'm just for time sake, uh, or for space sake, I'm just going to come up right next to that one. And I'm just going to put in my stitches on this white section above this green section right here. With the honeycomb stitch, you're going through two gathers at once. So you're going through the two gathers the first time. And then the second time, you're going to go through the gather, the second gather. So you're going to have like two feet. And then you're going to pop up to the top of the same gather. And then pop across to the next gather. The two of the two gathers on the next side. The two gathers on the top. Then you're going to go over again. And now you're coming down on the same gather. And then across to through the two gathers on the bottom. <clears throat> it's kind of like the first one, only that it has two feet and you're doing it on the same gather. Instead of separating all the gathers, you're working the stitch on the same gather. So then you go through the second gather, go up to the top of the same gather, then you go across and go through the two top gathers the two gathers that you're working on then you go across again pick up the, the the second gather pick up the second gather and then you're going through the same gather across to the next you're going to push the needle through the two gathers and then across to the second gather. Okay, so let me slow this down a little bit. As you can see, I'll space this. The first, the first one was the diamond stitch. The second one is the honeycomb stitch. Now you can see that it's kind of, it's the same principle, only that you're working the, the stitches on less gathers so you're not spreading out the gathers so watch me again I'm going up to, on the top of the same gather the last one was on I'm going up to the top so I went through one gather just now but then the second time I come through I'm going through the this gather and that gather so I'm going through two gathers the second time I go through now the third time I go through that spot is to make the second part of the foot or whatever. I'm going to only pick up the second gather, not the two gathers again. So, and then I'll go down to the bottom on the same fold. Then the second time I go through, I'm going to go through the two folds, the one next to the one I'm on and the same one that I'm on. I go through it. Then I'm going to only, when I go through the third time, I'm only going to pick up the last fold that I was working on. Then I'm going to go back up to the top of the same fold that I was just working on. The same fold. And I'm going to put that one in. 
and you still gotta do it. Whenever you're up, you're up. You hold the thread up, and whenever you're down, you hold the thread down. Same principle as the diamond stitch. So you hold the thread up and you go across. You went through the first one first, but now you, you, the second time around, you're going through the both of them, both folds. Now the third time you come around, you're only going through the second fold. Then you're going through the bottom of the same fold you just were on, was on, and that's the first time you went through it. That the second time you go through that one, you're gonna pick up the next fold and the one you're working on and go through that. Then you're gonna go through it the third time, and this time you're only going to pick up the last fold you were working on. Yes. So that's the honeycomb stitch. The honeycomb stitch that we were just working on and you could do it the same way.